friends, welcome to Repurpose My Way, I'm Shelly, and no, this isn't a deja vu. Yes, this is the same type of picture frame that I had uh, on a previous video, but this one's going to be a little bit different. It's going to be a little rustic. I did still do the established 2021. I can't remember if I mentioned in one of my last videos about this. I do have two different weddings that I need to go to and I thought I would make one for each wedding a little bit different or a lot different actually if you think about it. Um, so this one's more rustic. So I'm taking some twine and I'm going around and around one side and then I am actually going to, as you can see, going around and around the top so that they kind of crisscross on one side. show you how to do a twine flower and I'm using three fingers for this you'd use how many fingers you need for how big you want your twine flower to be and you wrap it around your fingers not super tight because you want to be able to get it off um, and you want to make three or four of these and basically the loops when you tie it in the middle will make your petals for your flower so as you can see here, I just looped it around my fingers and then I tie it in the middle and then I'm spreading those little loops on either end out. And then you crisscross your little loop bundles. Now on this one, I'm gonna make three loop bundles and I go around my fingers about 10 times and then I pull it off my fingers and you gotta kinda hold it, it's kind of a kind of a crazy thing to hold on to sometimes because it wants to unravel on you. But you just tie it right in the middle and then I, I do a double knot and then I trim off the extra edges like that and then spread out those little loops because those are going to be your petals and then you just kind of lay them crisscross all around each other. I think right here you'll be able to see. I glue on and then I kind of offset it a little bit and put the next stack on. And then I glue another one and offset it and put the next stack on. There we go. And then you can put whatever you want in the middle. Sometimes I use a button. This time I had these cute little, um, I don't know, like little sunflowers they kind of look like. And I thought that would be cute in the middle. So I put, peeled it off and, and glued it on. Now I learned this technique, I believe, from Kelly Barlow Creations. She has a YouTube channel on here. Um, and I believe that's who I learned that from. Uh, she shows it several times on her channel. Um, and so then you glue it down and just kind of fluff up those loops. And it looks like a really cute little, um, little flower, little twine flower. All right, now I'm taking some, these are little balsa wood letters. They're um, not very big, but uh, they're plain, and I wanted to stain them up before I painted them so that when I sanded them that they would um, bring back that darker stain. So I thought that would look nice. And so I'm doing it all around the edges and just the top side of them. And it's going to say Mr. and Mrs. I'm going to put that on the side. I did paint down at the bottom, established in 2021, because this is the year they're getting married. And this is the other wedding that we are going to. So I wanted to make sure I put that on there as well. And I'm just going along after I dried it and just double checking the side you can kind of see the white balsa wood from it uh, on the sides as I was drying it so now I'm taking some white Waverly paint and I am dry brushing and then as I was dry brushing I decided I really didn't like the look of that um, so I changed my mind and decided that I was going to 
do two coats and do a little thicker coat on there. Now after my two coats, I sanded it down a little bit and then decided I wanted to make it look a little more pronounced on the edges. So I just took a little, that brush with the um, stain that I had used, which was actually antique wax, and just went along the edges and a little bit over the top just to give it a little bit of color so it would stand out a little bit. And then I went back and sanded a little bit again just to make it look more distressed. And um, I thought they came out pretty good. So then after I was done with that, that's here, this is me sanding. And then after I was done with that, I actually took the clear wax that I have and I went over it with uh, clear wax and sealed them all up nicely so that if they get dusty dirty that they can be brushed off really well. So I found an and sign in my stash somewhere, just a little thing. So I thought I would put it on top of that heart and I thought that would look really cute on there uh, and stand out a little bit more. So here I am, I figured out where I actually wanted to put it, put the letters and I'm just gluing them all down. So it's just gonna go down the side Um, and then there's the heart with the and sign on it and I just kind of kitty cornered that a little bit I thought that gave it a nice touch instead of just the heart and as far as a picture holder goes I'm going to take my Mod Podge with me and when I get a picture or if I get a picture hopefully uh, one that they really love I am going to go have it made up and Mod Podge it onto the picture frame so that it will be there forever. Or until they don't want it anymore. <laughs> so that's why there's no actual uh, picture holder on there because I'm going to make it permanent. So there, got those all stuck down. I think they look really nice. I did end up going to Walmart again and I got one of the um, packages with the heart locket and the key that I put on the previous picture frame that I made and I'm just gluing that on there. There you go. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe and have a good day.